I think what sets Stelios apart is just the fact that he has been in the industry right from the very beginning. He understands how it got started. He understands how it's evolved. He actually played a significant role in helping that evolution actually take place by helping young companies find a way to get financed in good markets, bad markets. About his love of soccer, you know, his love of sports, of food, of music, um, he's just, he's very broad and very balanced. One of the things that's so impressive about Stelios is his commitment to his culture, to Greece. People know he's been running uh, an incredible meeting every year back in Greece where he invites people in the biotech community and often even from the academic community to meet some of the leaders in Greece and he gets all of us to chip into his foundation and he set up a foundation that's expressly for the purpose of being able to support bright creative young talent in Greece bring it if the opportunity is right to major universities in the U.S. to give Greeks that kind of opportunity. He is the godfather of the industry. I think he has a terrific historical perspective, uh, at least as far back as the 80s, if not even prior to that. Uh, so therefore, he is in the unique position of both being able to provide great historical perspective, while at the same time having great vision for the future. As a result, he's quite effective at uh, bringing people together, uh, both people that have been in the industry for many years and people that are new to the industry, and kind of connecting them. I think that uh, his leadership and his intellectual leadership, which is really what's important, is, is very is, is substantial, I would, say, I would say. I don't know, maybe it's a, a, maybe it's a necessity in this business that you have to be optimistic. Uh, I think he's just got the kind of can-do attitude. There's always a way, uh, you know, and, and maybe that's why he's stuck with it as long as he has and been as successful as he has over the years. Let me give you a sense of the incredible impact Stelios had. We were the three guys, the three amigos. We're wandering around. People are offering us money to combine with this, to do that, all kinds of nutty stuff. Stelios was one who said no. Trust me, I'm going to get you guys money. We are going to be the premier company using developmental biology, using what we coined functional genomics. He basically gave us the insight um, and gave us the leadership and guidance of how to start that company. Uh, so, but the moment, you know, you were talking about dissecting pathways that are interesting for, for, for human biology and so on. And then you said the experimental system is flies. The moment you said the word flies, they were gone. So trying to persuade Wall Street about flies in the late 80s and 90s, in the early 90s, it was not trivial. Stelios got it. You know, he, he's a very unique individual. He has the right balance of charisma and focus, right? And, and determination and, you know, I would say resilience, grit. There were periods of time in the industry where it was just extraordinarily difficult to finance companies. And Stelios and his team, Payne Weber, and then again at, at Cowan, came up with a lot of very clever ways to help companies um, find a way to stay financed, uh, find structures for financing that were novel and unique and had never been done before. He's the real deal when it comes to being able to, you know, brainstorm effectively because he's got such a deep, deep knowledge and he's not, he's not biased by anything but data, right? And the understanding of what goes into making, making good data. Formation, the founding of Excelixis, a company that uh, lived for a very long time in South San Francisco and recently moved to Alameda. Perhaps the most rewarding aspect was we stuck with it, many of us, for a very long time, the current management team, the board of directors. We came very close to virtual extinction at one point, not long ago, and uh, through good work, hard work, uh, a bit of luck, good timing, uh, we managed to come out of the difficult times, and we now have an extremely well-respected, very good company that uh, has been able to demonstrate that uh, we know how to develop drugs and uh, offer them to clinicians to treat patients. And what really sets him apart, it is that among the many very famous biotech guys, he's the one who has done it. And he has done it successfully again 
and again by founding companies that they have created significant value for patients. You know, Stelios has been uh, a banker, a confidant, uh, you know, consigliere to, to many of us along the way. And, you know, for me personally, I consider him to be one of the most influential mentors, you know, in my life in the biotech industry. He's taught me a lot. He was the one that I felt really gave me the sense of excitement where I felt I learned corporate law, patent law. I just learned how to synthesize. And um, I owe a lot to him because what I've done for the last 20 years, I wouldn't have done if it wasn't for Stelios. You know, and I think what history will say is, is that there are a small handful of people that just really had an impact on the biotech community and the biotech world over that couple of decades. And Stelios is clearly one of them. You no, know, superlatives are always, you know, taken as, uh, you know, it's an easy thing to say. Uh, but uh, calling him a giant in uh, biotech is not an exaggeration.